Imagine a golf hole that has an echo that can be heard from every other hole on the course. And even when you're not thinking about her, you're thinking about her. Now imagine a mashup of the tour's best players, some of the most famous athletes and celebrities, and 700,000 of the loudest golf fans in the world. Are we rolling? Are we rolling? Today we're looking back at our favorite hole in golf with our favorite Thunderbird, one of our favorite Sun Devils, and a few favorite guests from our show. Brent Golbas, Brent, I, just a couple quick questions. You're a busy man. It's Wednesday. And you're back. Pro-M. We are back. We can't we keep back. you out of 16. Yes, How amazing is this, right? <laughs> are we gonna break some records this year or what? Undoubtedly, I mean, look at the weather out here. I mean, it's gonna be 80 degrees all week. We've got a great fan base. They wanna come out, support our new venues that we've got. Obviously, you've seen 16 with all the new skyboxes and GAs that we've added. That's where the real loudness comes from. 17 is where the big action is. 17's becoming the new 16. We've added the Cove, expanded that. We've doubled the size of Bay Club. So it's really about coming out and having a good venue for the price and having an experience that is good for your corporate customers. And a lot of folks who just want to come out and roll with some GAs. If you have a GA, you get to really experience and just walk the course. Yeah. So there's really no good. exclusionary situation here. Exactly. I mean, look at this. This is good. Sun Devil alum John Rahm, one of our favorite players on our breaking par. Favorite part about playing in the Phoenix Open and what's it like then with Patrick Peterson? Uh, well, first of all, it's uncomparable. It's the best feeling ever to play here. The crowd is amazing and Patrick is a great guy. He's a really good golfer. Patrick, I don't know how you did it, but you're playing with John Rahm, bro. How's that <laughs> been like? It's been awesome, man. John hits it very, very far. Very straight, definitely uh, picking up some tips from him to help me uh, with my game as well. So what do you think the chances are you can get him to go up to the third deck and knock him down from the third story like you did with Paige and Archie? Ah, <laughs> uh, that's very, very tough, especially with all these people here. I, I might get harassed, so I, I don't think I'll make my way back down to the green, right. but um, doing that with Paige and uh, Archie, it was a blast. Yeah, wasn't it? Oh, yeah. Dude. So you just conquered this hole with Paige Sporanek and Patrick Peterson. How is this going to be different, this moment right now? Well, the stadium's filled. That's how it's different. There's going to be noise, there's going to be cheering, and there's expectations of putting it on the green. Who's in the support staff right now? Everyone, man. Everyone's supporting. We got, we got my boys, we got my dad, we got the cameras. It's an Arizona thing, man. I'm happy to be here. Dude, good luck and knock it stiff. Thank you. Let's go. All right, baby. All right, Paige, this is your first Phoenix Open Pro-Am on a Wednesday. I understand you're a little nervous. Express those feelings. So we turned the corner after nine, and I said, I don't want to play 16. I'm nauseous. <laughs> and in the last three holes, I'm like, I am so nervous. Because <laughs> you're going to hear the crowd, and obviously you don't want to like mess it up. And it's a short shot, so. Yeah. But I'm prepared. It just comes down to like this. <laughs> How's it been playing with Brady Wilson? He's a big fan of the show. Uh, yeah, he's awesome. We've had a great group. We're having a lot of fun, and uh, we're making a lot of birdies, so it's a good day. Now, Paige, this is her first Phoenix Open Wednesday Pro-Am. She said over the last couple of holes, she's getting really nervous. Have you given her any advice on how to calm the nerves? Because you're a veteran on Wednesdays. Yeah, well, you hear 16 from every hole. So the first time, I couldn't feel my feet. This time, I just take a deep breath, relax. Play for an extra five yards because you're jacked up. Yeah. Play for an extra five yards because you're jacked up. Yeah. Exactly. The only good thing about the Phoenix Open in our rear view is that it's less than a year away. Catch you in the tunnel next year, golf fans.